They are the Manly Unifans. Right here. What? <laughs> no. Not. <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> that would have been bad. Hey guys, I'm Brayathorn. And I've been a tech guy for a really long time. I built computers since I was, I don't know, in my early, early teens and helped before that with building computers and stuff. And it's something that I really enjoyed doing for a long time. Building, upgrading, all that kind of stuff. And uh, if you've been thinking about doing something like that, uh, too bad. You can't. You can't. You can't. You cannot buy any computer parts right now. Everything. Everything is sold out. Everywhere you look. So if you've been watching my videos, you saw that I recently just bit the bullet and bought a pre-built PC. And I know that that can be actually a pretty stressful thing to do. There's a lot of options out there. And when you go to these websites, there's just tons of stuff everywhere. Deals here. Wow. This is here. Oh, wait, no. no, but we don't have that right now. And oh, try this one. This is a great price. And they sort of hide the specifications of the machine. And then you can't really tell that it doesn't really have that great of a processor. Maybe you're not up to date with the AMD versus Intel thing. Uh, we're going to go over that. I purchased my uh, pre-built system from iBuyPower. Now, iBuyPower has their own uh, strengths and weaknesses. If you watch the videos I put, you know what? I'll uh, I'll put the thingy right here so you can watch the unboxing video. And then after that one, there's the, uh, the video where I fixed the issues that I found and got responses from iBuyPower. That being said, I still had a pretty good experience with iBuyPower. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to iBuyPower.com and I'm going to walk you through looking through the options they've got there. And we'll find some of the better choices at several different price points. Let's see what we can figure out. Let's check it out. I buy power.com. There you go. So, wow, look at that. It's just a bunch of junk on the screen. They got to catch your eye, you know? They got to let you know, like, hey, we've got sales. Hey, we've got same day ready systems and easy builder and there's even a sort of starter gaming pc at 650 650 dollars that's an amazing price but it leaves a lot to be desired and uh we'll take a peek at that and we'll go over it then you come down here and you've got even custom hardline cooling if you want to shell out the big bucks uh let's be let's be clear a computer is a pretty big investment you should be prepared to spend some good money on it because you're not getting this as a temporary thing that you're gonna just get rid of in a year or half a year hopefully you're gonna get lots of years of enjoyment or productivity out of whatever we're getting uh here today so we're looking at desktop computers here right now now one of the good things about a system integrator like i buy power uh cyber power uh, origin pc some of these companies they're very different from, say, Dell or HP. Dell or HP will use a lot of proprietary parts in there that you cannot swap out with just anything you buy off a of Newegg. Uh, with a system like this, these are built with the kinds of parts that you would purchase yourself if they were available anywhere, which they're not. I can actually show you if you want. You can't even get old graphics cards right now. We're gonna go to Newegg real quick. Okay. I'll tell you right now, an RTX 2060 should not cost you $700. Um, that's the other problem. If it is available, it's going to be way overpriced. Now let's see, a 1660 Ti, that debuted at $280. Yeah, $672. Bucks. Not ideal, right? Don't pay that much. Don't do it. I mean, unless you absolutely have to. See this RX 580. I had an RX 580 in my last system. I paid $150 for it. When I got it, this is a thousand dollars, one thousand dollars for the same graphics card I have sitting now in my daughter's computer. It is bleak. It's just not happening. So, where are these? Well, there's a whole story behind that. The pandemic has everything to do with it. People working and uh, staying at home, doing school from home, a huge rush in the PC gaming industry, and custom computer building and all of that are upgrading has caused the short stock from the lack of production because of the pandemic to just cause a lack of product across the board. But the people who do have some of these products are system integrators, like I buy power. They get them in bulk, not in retail packaging like you would get at your Best Buy or Newegg or Micro Center, all that. This is what led someone who hadn't purchased a pre-built computer for like 15 years to, to buy a pre-built. Now, 
you'll see here that it'll tell you straight up Intel gaming PCs, AMD gaming PC. They divide it right down the center, right there. Now, if you're not caught up on it, at this moment, the highest performance platform is AMD. It's been a long time since anyone was able to say that, but it is the case. And you can actually, within iBuyPower, get yourself a Ryzen 5600X on iBuyPower and a Ryzen 5800X as well, but the 5900 and 5950, not available. So I basically purchased an AMD platform so that I could later get myself a 5000 series Ryzen processor, okay? And that's what I'm gonna recommend today. Now, in a few weeks or a few months, Intel's supposed to come out with their Rocket Lake processors and they're supposed to sort of pick up the slack where AMD clearly took the lead with their 5000 series processors, but that's not the fact right now. That's not the landscape right now in the high-end computing market. It's AMD. AMD's kicking butt right now. If you want to keep things simple and you want to get something quickly, iBuyPower has their same day ready system, but they're not always good on their availability. This is what I purchased. I purchased the same day ready system and I got it in four days. And actually the system is right, there it is, right here, sold out. But this is the system I got, AMD Ryzen 9 3900X, Gigabyte X570 Gaming X motherboard, RTX 3070 8 gig graphics card. So there you go. 30 series graphics card, 3900X processor, which is a processor that is still selling for well over $500, $600 if you can find it. And all kind, you know, the basics here 16 gigs of RAM. The, one of the easiest upgrades you can do is adding more RAM or replacing it. One terabyte M.2 drive and liquid cooling, an all in one liquid cooler. Okay, this was $1849. Now that's a decent chunk of change, but you have to realize. Even with this, you're not paying MSRP for that 3070. The GeForce RTX 3070 was supposed to run 499. Nobody who has these cards would be in their right minds if they charged you just that MSRP. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so probably paid about $600 for that card. And that's gonna bump up the price of these. For comparison, let's go here and let's take a look at rebuilt system. So then we're gonna pick GeForce RTX 3000 series and hit apply. So this has a 3600 processor and an RTX 3060 Ti. Okay, downgrade on the on the GPU. A one terabyte SSD, not an NVMe drive, an M.2 drive. 16 gigs of DDR4 3000, not 3200, so slower RAM. A B550 motherboard, not an X570, so your PCIe lanes. I mean, the list goes on. This is a downgraded computer that costs almost the same price. 300 bucks more and you get uh, it's got an in-win case, that's nice. I mean, we could keep on looking. Uh, this isn't a bad buy right here, Ryzen 5600X, RTX 3070. But the thing about iBuyPower is that you don't have to go with one of their pre-built systems that's ready to go. I mean, there's so few of them. Look, we have one. There is one available here. It's got a 10700F, uh, 3070, nice. Eight, eight gigs of RAM, eh, and it's 1500 bucks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a system. Now you can go with the Easy Builder and let's check it out. I want you all to know with the Easy Builder, they do filter out a lot of the options that you would have, but let's check out the Easy Builder. It does simplify it quite a bit. You pick one out of these eight games right here and you tell it whether you want 1080p or 1440p gaming. That gives them an idea of what they should recommend. Let's, uh, let's throw a hard game at it. Let's say Cyberpunk, because that's hard to run. Yes, we want a desktop and we're going AMD. So we're gonna hit, uh, let's throw a budget at it of, we'll start with 999 and we'll see what it recommends. AMD Archer Easy B101. It's got a Ryzen 5 3600 CPU, which was well regarded as a gaming processor. A GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. You, you don't sleep on the 1660 Ti. If they have it and they're offering it to you in a $1,000 computer, remember that that card was $600 by itself on Newegg. Nani? Just the graphics card and here you get a whole computer around it for 400 bucks more okay you see where i'm going with this 500 gig m.2 nvme ssd faster than your typical sata 3 ssd you get an asus tough gaming b550 motherboard it's not a 450 so the b550 is great because that means you can very easily later on put a 5000 series ryzen processor right onto that b550 and that's what i'm talking about when I say later on, you can upgrade this thing. The AMD platform is great because once parts become more available, you'll be able to get that 5,000 series processor and it will be a noticeable 
boost in performance, but already you're going to have good performance. Now you get eight gigs of RAM. RAM is so easy to upgrade. Um, if you go to say crucial.com, they have something that can scan your system and then recommend the best memory upgrade that they have. I highly recommend that. It's a great system. Now, this is us telling it that we want a game in 1440p, which is my preferred gaming resolution. 1080 might make it a little easier for them to recommend something, but this is a solid system right here. And then you can customize it. So say you have a little bit more of a budget than a thousand bucks. This is when we start talking about what your priorities are. Are you strictly a gamer? The Ryzen 5 3600 processor is fine, especially for now, because the direct upgrade to that is going to be the Ryzen 5 5600X. And that is a killer processor for gaming. It's one of the best, if not the best gaming processor on the market right now. Hands down. Um, 10900K, eh, it beats it. It does for way less. So we can go to each of these components and change it. If you wanted to, you could upgrade your memory right here on iBuy Power. Now, I wouldn't recommend that. And that's because they're a bit limited in what you can do here on the Easy Builder. But let's say we take a look at it. So we take a look here and they only give you four options. Now the maximum memory allowed on a B550 motherboard is gonna be 64 gigs of RAM. Do you need that? I can with 95% certainty say you don't, unless you're doing all the things that I'm doing where I'm doing, and I, even I wanted, I just wanted that extra overhead. But if you're doing things like Adobe, uh, content creation, pr productivity, 3D rendering, things like that. Having more RAM will definitely help you. But if you're just trying to game, it's not about the amount of RAM that you have, it's more about the speed of the RAM. And here, we're limited to 3200 on those two options, 3200 megahertz. This should be cast latency 16, which is, it's good, it's fast, it's not the fastest. And these are RGB and they're pretty and they have lights, but now you have another option here. It shows you right here that you'll be adding $97 to your price if you double your RAM. That's not really worth it to get one stick of eight, gig, eight gigs of RAM. Now you could also go up to 16 gigs of DDR4, 3600 megahertz. And that's about the speed that's recommended for the 5000 series Ryzen processor. It's a $140 investment though, above what you're already paying for the one stick of RAM that comes with it. This is not saying the total amount that you're paying for your memory as a component is $142. It's saying that your total will go up by 142 over and they take out that other stick of RAM. You don't get it. Upgrading your RAM is very easy and I don't recommend doing it necessarily on iBuyPower. Now, what about cooling? Because there's two things to look at when it comes to cooling your system. These parts generate a lot of heat. And one of the problems I have with iBuyPower is right here. It's the cases that they use. Not many of them are focused on airflow. Airflow is absolutely paramount if you want your system to run well. There's no getting around it. You can change that. And let's see the options they have. See, there's a couple great options here. And my recommended case, right here. Lee and Lee Land Cool 2 Mesh RGB Tempered Glass Gaming Case, yada, yada, yada. This right here, this mesh on the front, absolutely awesome for airflow. Plus with these three fans. Now, whenever you're looking at a picture on iBuyPower, don't expect it to come to you exactly as shown there. Are you putting two GeForce RTX 2080 Ti's in there that are in SLI mode? No. So don't think that this is what you're getting. Anytime you look at a picture of a computer on iBuyPower, they're mostly just showing you the case. Ignore what's inside it because they would have to do a, put a lot of work into making it to where anytime you change something on your system, it would show on your little preview. They're not going to do that. This system in particular has good IO, okay? Um, two USB 3.0s. It looks like it would have a USB-C. That's an additional thing that you have to purchase to add on. But it's got actually tempered glass on both sides. You get your basement down here for your power supply. You have spots for spinning hard drives so you can remove that for you know potential airflow. And it's just a, it's just an awesome looking case. Yeah, tempered glass on both sides with panels to cover your the the wire management. There you go. And it's a thirty-seven dollar upcharge. You actually get airflow. Now you'll get a little bit more dust in your system, but it's definitely worth it to not kill the longevity of your part. Just, there are more options, and some of them are actually pretty nice. I like this Be Quiet Pure Base 500. It's more focused on keeping noise levels down than it is on airflow, but still. The Cougar Dark Blader X5 RGB looks really cool, and it does have slots for airflow right here. Plus, it has this like sweet frosted glass on the front or plastic on the front that just totally diffuses your fans and it looks really, really like subtle and cool. I love it. But yeah, this has decent airflow on it. Nothing like what you're going to get with the Landcool 2 mesh. Well, it's it's one of the cases I'm considering for upgrading from the Landcool 1 that I have. This is one of the only reasons I was willing to go for that computer. It didn't have all glass on the front. When you have this, there are some cases that can have the glass on the front like this and still get good airflow. Okay, I'm not saying they're all bad. 
and the one you might have or might get might be fine. But just keep an eye on your system temps. Don't let your computer cook itself, but my recommendation right here, Thank Cool 2. Now, if you wanted to change your processor, what are your options? These are all the 3000 series Ryzen processor. That's what they're trying to throw at you. And in the easy builder, that's all you're gonna get. You'd see it would be a $229 upgrade to get the 3900X that I've got. It's got 12 cores, 24 threads, and it's, it's a beast when it comes to multitasking. The 5900X is just faster per core, way faster, because they changed the architecture. In any case, that's not a computer pun. We'll leave this as it is. Let's say this is just for gaming, because you're a gamer, and that's what you want to do is play games. 700 watt power supply can handle uh, the 1660 Ti easy, easily. What if you wanted to upgrade the graphics card while you're at it? Because we know it's going to be a while before they're readily available. But this is where prices get uh, pretty scary. A $250 upgrade to get yourself a 3060 Ti. Not bad. It's a very fast card. It's the 30 series NVIDIA GeForce RTX product. You get RTX, you get ray tracing. You can use NVIDIA Broadcast, all that. Which, by the way, you can actually use a noise cancellation on NVIDIA Broadcast with the 1660 Ti. But it's pre-order only because they're out of those. Even these guys. Even these guys who have a warehouse full of parts are out of these. But the card that I have, the GeForce RTX 3070 8 gig MSI Gaming X Trio, the exact one that I've got, would be <clears throat> a $600 upgrade. So this is where they start to lose me on this. This thing just went up to almost 1700 bucks and it has a processor that's cheaper by $200. The math doesn't add up. I have double the storage space. I have double the RAM. What I'm getting at here is the easy builder is not the best option. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the classic builder. And that's what I'm going to recommend to you. Go right back to I buy power. This looks like easy mode. We're skipping that. This, we know it's easy mode, but it's not easy on your wallet. We're skipping that. What we're going to do is go to gaming PCs and then we'll pick one. And the customization there is going to be far better. So let's start with one. Let's do the same thing where we pick our processor. Let's see if we can find one with a 5600X. Okay. It's going to be a little pricey, but mm, yeah, that's too pricey. See what this has, and this is why it's so pricey, is the graphics card is an AMD Radeon RX 6900XC. That's a $1,000 graphics card before the pandemic markup. No, let's go in there, let's customize it, and we're gonna fix this. Now look, if you see someone offer you a, a mechanical gaming keyboard for nine bucks, just take it. You never know if you're gonna need a spare keyboard and it's actually a mechanical keyboard. Why not? Blue switches? Yeah, blue switches, all right. Do we like the case on this thing? No, we don't. It's all glass on the front. Can't breathe. No, thank you. Especially if you have a 6900 XT in there. That thing needs airflow, baby. So here we go. Land cool to mesh RGB tempered glass gaming case. Six dollars extra. Are you kidding me? Yeah, absolutely. Now there are way more options here, and there's a very, very good one. The Be Quiet Pure Base 500 DX is only three dollars more than the Land Cool to mesh. And as you see, it has a mesh front, nice RGB on the front, and everything. And this is a very nice case. <clears throat> it does help with some of the sound dampening and everything. That's Be Quiet's whole thing. But with mesh, you're going to have more noise. Now on this, you actually get the USB 3.1 USB-C port right there. Right there. That is nice. That's something that's going to become a lot more commonly used. You want that. And a, USB, a regular um, USB type A USB 3.0 port right there. And then you have your separated audio. It's not for like a four pole jack. It's a mic and headphones and yada yada. So yeah, this is a great case and it's only $3 more than the Land Cool 2 mesh. So we spent about six bucks and upgraded to a way higher performing case because it's $10 off right now. Your mileage may vary whenever you see this video. So right there, we've already made a big upgrade for six bucks. This thing is awesome. Look at how many more options we have. You can add case fans here, but if you're gonna add case fans, I mean, that's something you can do on your own. It's fairly easy and there's tons of tutorials on how to do things like that. You can add some case lighting if you want. Nice. Now we're looking at the processor. This is gonna filter out some of the processors based on the motherboard. Move, I guess I'll move my face cam a little bit. So as you can see right here, if you wanted to jump down from the Ryzen 5 5600X, to a processor that is, well, actually, it would be plus $82 to get mine. Now I'm upset. Now I want the 5600X. It's still a six quarts, 12 threads, and it's very fast. Yeah, so if you wanted to move up to, like, the 5900X, you couldn't. Or the 5950X, not available. But the 5800X would be $143. You see, to me, that's not worth it. Because if the 5900X were available, and it is clearly a much better processor than the 5800X, you're only talking about, what, like 60, 70 bucks right there. 
So I would say stick with the 5600X or if you want to save some money, like 127 bucks, you could always jump down to the 3600X, but that's not where we're saving money here. We're going with the 5000 series. So we're going to skip past all this. The main change we're going to make is to our graphics card. It's going to seem a lot more reasonable to you in just a bit. The AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT. Well, what if we jump down to a 3070? Yeah, $500 off. So suddenly, this thing is $2,000 computer. The RTX 3070 has been shown time and time again to be as fast as, if not faster, than the $1,200 2080 Ti of the last generation. It's the card I use for everything, and it destroys most games. It's awesome. And here, you just shaved off 500 bucks from your computer by going with that. Now it's pretty exciting to look here and see that if you had the scratch for it, you could get yourself a 3090. Like, whoa. Let me talk real quick about the difference between an AMD graphics card and an NVIDIA graphics card. Do you stream or do you encode video? Do you want to use ray tracing? If your answer was yes to any of those, or potentially in the future, yes, you need NVIDIA. If all you do is gaming, you are more than fine getting an RX 6800 XT. 6900 XT is a bit overkill. There you go. Now your computer went from like 2,500 bucks plus to $2,078. And if your budget was already that high, you can now spend that money elsewhere. Let's see what, mem what memory this came with. So let's go to our memory here. This comes with eight gigs. Wait, wait, wait. Something with a 5,000 series Ryzen processor and an RX 6900 XT, they put eight gigs of RAM in it. Boys, y'all driving me crazy. But you do get a free upgrade, and that's what you want. So that's how they did it. It's 16 gigs, but you get a free upgrade from the 8 gigs. That's why it's saying 8 gigs. Whatever. Leave it at 8 gigs. But you want the 3200 at least. You can get the 3600, but it's adding 150 bucks to the price tag. I would just get the 16 gigs of whatever the certified brand they have and just upgrade later. You're spending enough money right now. Well, that's my opinion. If you don't think you're spending enough money, you do what you want. So we've got our video card sorted. We're going with the 3070, okay? Maybe when things settle down, you could resell your 3070 and get yourself a 3080. There is a 3080 option and only one of them. Wait, really? From when I was looking at this this morning, the, 38, the 3080 has disappeared. Guys, don't sleep on this stuff. The fact that they have it in stock right now is something to take advantage of. Just don't jump on it immediately. But 3080 just went. I, I saw it this morning, I swear to you. Uh, I just won't even have that mention of the 3080 in the video. It's not gonna happen. So here we have, here's an issue that comes up when we change the case. This is saying that the USB port on the selected case will not work with the selected motherboard. Why is that? Well, on this case we have a USB Type-C USB 3.1 port. And there's no header for that on the motherboard they included. So what they do, very helpfully, is they highlight the ones that you can use that have a USB Type-C header. And this one is $39. It's an MSI MPG B550 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi with Wi-Fi 6, two ARGB headers, uh, the USB 3.2 ports, and just two M.2 slides. It's got what you need. Now, if you want more lanes, more PCIe stuff, more features, Gaming Edge Wi-Fi here, not bad, 62 bucks more, but I would say just go with, yeah, actually, no, let's do that. Let's switch to an X570. Bam, done. The X570 is gonna have more PCIe Gen 4 lanes. And PCIe Gen 4 is going to be seeing more use in the future, but right now it's the best for storage, the more current technology, and if you're buying a brand new computer, what could it hurt? It's right there. It's, it's available to you. One of the benefits of going AMD. Your power supply is a 750 watt, high power, 80 plus gold. In other words, it's generic. I mean, if you want to upgrade to something with a brand name, you can. Especially if you're planning on getting a different card later like a 3080 or 3090 require more overhead in the power supply because of power spikes. You take your pick here, but I would definitely recommend either going with, probably going with a Seasonic uh, at the same level, the 750, 
or bump it up to 850. Uh, thermal take is good. Yeah, 750 watt C Sonic is an additional $45. Now, fully modular is better for wire management, for cable management. And at 57 bucks, C Sonic is a premium brand when it comes to power supplies. And then you could spend 30 bucks more or 25 bucks more and get the 850 watt. Full modular, 80 plus gold. Bam. That's what I would recommend. Now, any of these things can be bumped down. We can lower any of these specs that we want. And that's the great thing about the builder here. Rather than the easy builder, this is the way to go. You've got every option iBuyPower has right here at your fingertips. You're watching this video or you're watching this stream right now. You're armed with the information you need to not have to resort to an easy builder that holds your hand. Now, of course, iBuyPower does have financing with uh, Affinity and you can go with that spend you know 7500 bucks a month on this whatever makes it work for you ideally saving up and buying it outright is the better way to go but still if you need it you need it and uh right now we could all use a little bit of fun and to have a system that we can rely on especially if you're working from home or doing school from home we have a 500 gig m.2 pcie NVMe SD, that's the one that attaches to the motherboard directly. The downside here is that they didn't use PCIe Gen 4, which is not taking advantage of that excellent communication and speed that you get with PCIe Gen 4. The read write times are amazing, and you can take full advantage of that with the 5000 series processor and the X570 motherboard. You spend about a hundred bucks doubling that and going up to a PCIe Gen 4. Now this one here is a good deal because this is a Gigabyte Aorus product, which is more of a well-known brand name and it's 20 bucks off there you go so if you want more storage there's mechanical hard drives all the way up to 10 terabytes but you can actually your primary hard drive can, if you want to stick with m.2 can go all the way up to two terabytes as well and they have four terabyte ssds these are obviously way faster now that's mostly it i mean this covers all the most important components when it comes to performance but there's one thing that I actually didn't cover yet, and that is gonna be the processor cooling. Now, the 5000 series Ryzen processor, great, awesome. All of them, all of them are top of their class in their individual price brackets, okay? They can run very hot, very hot. And all you're getting here, which say you were getting the, um, the Ryzen 3600, something like, uh, you know, an air cooler like this, a tower air cooler would be totally fine. It'd be fine. As long as you get enough airflow in your case, you're good. And regardless of whether your case has a solid front or mesh front, a lot of, some of these cases do have decent enough airflow for a processor like that. But what they're giving you here is not bad. It is a 120 millimeter addressable RGB liquid cooling system with the iBad power logo. So I've got the 240 millimeter that's two fans and a radiator about that long this is a single fan radiator that takes up about the space of one fan space on your case right there and that's all your processor cool the 5600x that's not quite enough imo now we've got a white case so yes look at this right here we've got an option for a white aio an aio is an all-in-one liquid cooler all-in-one means that it has the reservoir where the liquid is stored, the tubing, the cold plate that sits on the processor, and the uh, and the pump, and your actual radiator and fans, all in one. AIO. This one happens to be white, and it matches that nice white be quiet case. So, I would say 68 bucks to double your cooling and also color match it to the case. Now, if you want to go all out, I buy power will do custom hard tube liquid cooling for you. And 200 bucks or 250 bucks, depending on the kit that you get, is not bad at all to have someone do that for you. And personally, as many computers as I've built in my time, I've never done hard tubing. And I'm really looking forward to doing that myself. But if that's something that you're nervous about, 200 bucks to have them do it for you with a 240 millimeter see that that's the difference one's 240 millimeter one's 360 millimeters on the radiator it's a good deal if they do a good job if they don't do a good job you can be in trouble but they do have a ton of options when it comes to all-in-one coolers which makes it a lot simpler for them to install it means your computer comes to you faster and you they, it takes a lot of the responsibility out of their hands one aio of note is going to be the nzxt kraken z63 this actually has a screen on it where you can display gifs i'm sorry i take that back retracted sorry that you can display gifs on 
um, JPEGs, whatever you want. And you can also display system temps, things like that. So this one's really cool, but it's also 150 bucks more than just the plain Enermax 240 millimeter in white. Actually one option, if you don't really feel like you need the extra cooling, you do. Uh, you can always go with the white version of their AIO cooler for the uh, 120 millimeter. You know, if you're just trying to match it up, but I would rather go with performance. It's only $3 more than their black one. So here's the thing. We just upgraded a lot of the components of the computer and it's back up to 2500 but the system overall is a lot more balanced and it's going to run much better this way i think this actually comes with a monitor too so removing that is going to make a huge difference in price too so it shows it in the picture where's it at oh no it's no mon oh that's dirty oh i buy power that is dirty man why are you going to show a monitor in the picture and they don't get one that's that's not cool. I imagine it says somewhere monitor not included, but this is louder than that. This right here screams to people, hey, you're going to get this rad Asus monitor, gaming monitor, blah, blah, blah. Look at that. Comes with the system. Bam. Now, is it because I chose this case? Could be. Let's try going back to the case that they were offering with it and see if it gets rid of that monitor. Because this could be just some other photos. Let's see. Let's switch to this. Nope. 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 When I send people to your website, if people listen to me, they're putting their trust in me. And I'm putting my trust in you that I can recommend your website without them giving, getting, getting false expectations. And you need to do better. That's not okay. It's not okay to put a monitor in this picture. Are they going to get this mechanical keyboard? I understand that you can't have the individual components inside the case show exactly right because it's going to be changed up. That's fine. Don't put a keyboard and mouse there if they're not going to get it. Don't put a monitor there if they're not going to get it. Be clear with your customers because they trust you. Yeah, you're getting booze in my chat right now. Just letting you know. Okay, well, guess what? If you want a monitor, you can get one here. And monitors can be hard to come by. So that's cool. Oh, also, what is the difference between pro wiring and standard default cables? $19, what does that $19 buy you? Professional wiring improves the aesthetics and airflow in your system. Practically, this can lead to a quieter case and cooler components. Visual appeal in cases with side windows is also greatly improved from this upgrade. Why don't you just do professional cable management without them spending an extra 20 bucks? It is supposed to be professional cable management. But if you guys watch my video where I unbox the case, it is over here. It's it's, it's it, that way. And then the following video where I had to fix the cable management. You'll see that it was not, and it actually led to damage to my brand new computer case. Permanently bent. No getting around that. So these are the kind of things where you guys, you guys are doing great right now. People are buying up everything you have, everything you have. And you need to be making more of an effort to be better. I buy power twice in a row. Linus Tech Tips did a secret shopper deal where they bought computers from every single system integrator they could. And two years in a row, I buy power one based on the products that were received, the buying experience and the customer service experience that came up from when they did a, it sort of manufactured an error within the computer or like a, some loose piece of hardware. I buy power one both times and y'all need to channel that every day. Come to work every day with that energy. All right, represent that to your core. That's what I want to see. Like, I, I am not disappointed in the computer I have. Um, it took me a month to get the new side panels that I requested because those were damaged, but I got them and at no charge to me. That's what we want. That's good service. It took a long time. But what I wonder is if my computer wasn't working, how long would it have taken to get my computer working without me having to ship it back to you? Nobody wants to do that. Shipping can destroy computers easily. I'm sorry, guys. That was a bit of a rant there. There is a good selection of peripherals. Okay. Lots of mechanical keyboards and some of them at uh, decent prices, actually. Like getting yourself a, I don't know. Let's go with this one. Corsair K70. This is $154 to add it onto your thing. Let's see what it is if we just search for product itself. Hey, look at that. Best Buy. $179. So you're paying five bucks less than retail. Um, but you're not getting any kind of deal. It's just like, hey, were you going to buy this anyway? Buy it all together. And then, of course, all these different gaming mice. But this selection is not that great. 
there's a lot more options out there than that especially in like the super light options and all that now this is one thing that is definitely worth a look the fact that you can get capture cards capture cards go right now are going in and out when it comes to availability so if you're wanting to stream or do let's plays or capture any video of a console of any kind or you're trying to get a uh, you know like i've got a mirrorless camera here you're trying to capture that you got options right here and the prices are about what you would pay in retail normally but they're available they've got them they've got microphones webcams i mean the stream deck a lot of these things are hard to get and you can get them right there for my by power and it's all shipped at the same time the last thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys the best budget system that i can think of that i can come up with okay and we're just gonna totally change this up we still want to have some cooling we still want to have you know some of the features that are going to be future proofing our system here but i would still recommend especially as it's cheaper to go with the land cool 2 mesh okay go with that 66 bucks cheaper we're already taking off a good little chunk there now are there cheaper cases yes they're also fully glass encased or fully solid on the front and although some of these are going to have decent airflow we're not going to risk it uh case fans are going to be default for now if you wanted to add some they have lots of options the case fans I'm dying to get my hands on, I'll tell you right now. They are the Lian Lee Unifans. Right here. What? <laughs> no. Not. <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> oh, man. That would have been bad. If you're going to search for Lian Lee Unifans, just put uni fan. Do not pluralize that for the love of God. These link together. So you only have one pair of cables coming out of them. It's amazing. I love it because now that I've done RGB fans, I am already done. I'm done. But these have a system where they link together and it's awesome. Obviously, if we're going fully budget, we're skipping case lighting. Okay. Uh, skipping I buy power noise reduction and internal expansion. We're going to go look at the processor and here's where i have some difficulty because it is so hard to get your hands on a 5600x processor i cannot recommend a 3600 if you're getting yourself one of their pre-built systems one of their pre-built systems that's like ready to ship same day and you that's awesome because you get a computer way faster and none of those have the 5000 series processor that's totally fine 3600 is great but when you're building one up like this 5600X is the best budget gaming processor on the market, hands down. Now, as for cooling, if we want to uh, maximize our budget on the cooling, God, this is a hard one. So we're not going with the fancy white uh, all-in-one anymore, but we can go with the iBuyPower 240 millimeter, same one I've got right here, okay? And these all use the same Asa Tech technology. Most of these are, if you cut them in a cross section, they look identical on the inside. Just orient it properly so yeah go with this save yourself 50 bucks bam all right we're cutting it back we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna budget this out we're gonna go with uh eight gigs of ddr 3200 now we're gonna go back down to here and we should get a free upgrade to 16 gigs just like that we took off 150 bucks just because we're getting 3200 megahertz ram and if you want to later on upgrade to the 3600 but this shaved off a decent amount from our purchase now is the painful part where we have to not get a 30 series graphics card because if you go with 1660 ti you're saving 500 bucks let's do the math real quick a 1660 ti on newegg.com is running 600 bucks but let's just imagine for a moment that you take that 600 bucks and you add 478 bucks that would make a 3070 based on that inflated price of course cost over a thousand dollars and in this case whether it's available or not cannot recommend it if you're trying to go budget a f all right we're going 1660 ti the good card it is a good card do not sleep on this card it is a very good card got turing architecture and six gigs of ram and it can play almost anything. Now, can we go more budget? Oh, you better believe it. So the motherboard actually has fewer options than I was expecting. You can go B550, save 80 bucks, and go with the Asus Prime B550 Plus. That's a good motherboard. And it's a free upgrade to the Asus Tough Gaming B550 Plus. So there you go. All right, save 80 bucks. Next, we're going to uh, drop back down to the, now with, you do not need a 750 watt power supply or 850 watt power supply if you're gonna be running a 1660 Ti. 
Let's go with the just their their generic version. And it's not giving us any warnings saying, hey, this is not gonna work. So now we're down to 1698 bucks, down from 2500 bucks. Uh, okay, so our primary hard drive, we're not going with a PCIe Gen 4. We're actually gonna go with a 256 gig NVMe drive. Now, where is the logic to that? Well, here's what this hard drive is gonna be for. Your operating system, your most important couple of games, maybe. Now you have another M.2 slot here where you could put later on a one or two gig NVMe drive. And that's what you'll do. That's where your games will go, yada, yada. But right now we are budgeting it out. I took another hundred bucks off. This is not bare bones, clearly. I'm having trouble going completely bare bones. I'm not putting a GT 730 in here, but the 1660 Ti is gonna run excellent. Now, if we wanna go with the absolute bargain processor, it reduces it by 177 bucks. That's not all that much. I would not go with a 3300X over a 5600X for 177 bucks. Are you kidding me? According to this builder, that's about the most we could do. That's uh, 1500 bucks. And it's with getting a 5000 series processor with that and a 1660 Ti, which is a $600 graphics card, apparently, according to Newegg or the seller on Newegg anyway, it's a decent deal. But if we go and we look at I buy power, it's, it's some of these things just don't match up. Like if we look at their Valentine's Day sale, let's just click on it. Let's see what they're throwing at us. Okay. Oh, cool. Put that on your sale. <laughs> like, hey, Valentine's Day sale. Oh, sorry. It's sold out. Thanks, guys. But hey, there's my computer. But if you look at one of these, you can go with an, with an Intel system. This is 1799, 10700K. Great gaming process. 3070, 16 gigs of RAM. My God, you, your head starts spinning after a while. This is why I tried to boil it down to just go to the build page, build it yourself. $17.99, and you can customize from there. $11.59 for this one with a 1060, 10600 KF. Decent gaming process. 1660 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM, blah, blah, blah. $11.59. But the reason we're talking about going with AMD is because that is this quote unquote budget computer that we built has the best gaming processor money can buy right now. I feel like this build, this per, this this buyer's guide has not gone as the plan. It's just, it's, it's their website's too much of a mess. And I'll just say, I recommend AMD and at minimum a 1660 Ti on the graphics card. Other than that, shop to your heart's content. Just keep in mind that a lot of these cases, just pay attention to the case you're getting because airflow can kill your computer. At least it'll make the performance throttle. And um, customize it, add a few things until you're happy. That about wraps it up, guys. Now, we may be leaving this with more questions than answers, but that's the landscape when it comes to purchasing a PC right now. If you have those questions, join the Discord. The link is in the description below, and I've got a tech questions channel where you can ask me anything you want, tech related. Tech, tech question, it's in the name. Yeah. And I'll happily answer any questions you got and help you buy a computer if you want. It'll help you figure out what's best for you just based on what you need it for. And if you want to see more content like this, let me know you like what you saw by hitting like and catch the rest of it coming up in the future by hitting subscribe. And uh, I'd uh, love to have you join me on stream too. I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Brayathorn every Sunday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Central. And I hope to see you there. Until then, take care. Here you go, guys. Oh my God, I'm tired. Uh, I think it goes out saying, but I'm going to be cutting off the stream now, but thank you. Thank you for hanging out for that. Y'all are super cool. Uh, you know, I got to parse through that and find a coherent video in there somewhere.